guys, look. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Hit the notification bell. If you understand me? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Join this Fisk Unit Army and get Fisk Unit tough. All right, look. I've been going a couple days. I have. You know, it's uh, Christmas week. Got things to do. You know I love y'all. You, you know I love y'all. You, you know Big Fist love the unit. Which is why, you know, going forward in 2024, I'm going to switch the content up a little bit. I already kind of broke the glass with Church of Giants. And a lot of y'all been super chatting me and cop pills of relationship questions and things of that nature. So basically what I'm trying to say is, you know, bad dog is a big motive. You know, he's a big inspiration to me because I saw him go from a Giants content channel to the biggest Laker dog on the, on the planet. He's the Laker guy. So if bad dog can go from talking about the Giants to being the number one Laker guy, I can basically go from talking about the Giants to. I don't even know what to call it. I don't want to say a lifestyle coach, but I just want to share more of my life with you in a nutshell. You know what I'm saying? More of a personal channel than just being Fitz Vegas all the time. So 2024, stay tuned. All right, we're going to start talking about getting this money. We're going to start talking about relationship advice, the 48 laws of power, all kind of things that I'm into. I'm sick of talking about just a giant. You understand? So going forward, y'all can expect to get to know me just a little bit better. A more intimate experience. <laughs> I like that. A more intimate experience. But anyway, to the business. Understand something. Saquon, don't talk about it, be about it. So earlier this week, you know, if I wasn't so busy, I would have got the video probably like Thursday. Earlier this week, Saquon Barkley came out. And he talked about being sick and tired of the Eagles. You know, the whole locker room has basically said they're sick and tired of the Eagles bullying them. They're sick and tired of losing to the Eagles. I, I, the, I don't think the Giants have won in Philly in a decade. I can't remember the last time Eli Manning won in Philly. I, I, I want to say it was the Rams' Barton game on Monday Night Football. I think, I think it was the Rams' Barton game. In like 2010 on Monday Night Football, because I think Nixon Cruz was hurt and they put Ramses Barden in. And he, I think I could be wrong. I can't remember the last time we won in Philly. I can't remember. But because I think Daniel Jones beat them in New York twice. The only two wins Daniel Jones got against the Eagles was in New York twice, I believe. He beat them with the broke neck. And then he beat him in the pandemic. Yeah, I think they were both in New York. So, yeah, we haven't actually won in Philly in, in, in God knows how long. And then on top of that, they embarrassed us twice last year. They ended our season in embarrassing fashion. And they smoked us that, that first game in embarrassing fashion. I don't count the second game because that was our backups. What not? That, that don't count. I'm talking like when we came to play. In meaningful situations, they smoked us in the first quarter. It wasn't like a regular blowout. It wasn't like a blowout where it's like, okay, we hung in them for a little bit, and then they pulled away. No, they, they came out in the first quarter, and they was, they you know how Kyle Pizzle was the 60-minute man? They was the one-minute man, okay? They didn't last long, okay? The Giants' pussy must have been real wet. It must have been real good because they busted off on us in the first quarter. They ain't making 60 minutes, all right? So what I'm trying to say is, I don't expect to win tomorrow. I don't. I do not expect to win tomorrow. I'm not going to lie to y'all. The Eagles are on like a three or four game losing streak. They're one of the best teams in the NFL. As a professional sports better, this is when you pound the Eagles. I'm not saying like 13 and a half, but if you're doing teasers, you know, if you're, if you're trying to put the, you know, I, if you're doing any kind of money line parlay, something of that nature, you, you're putting in the Eagles. Period. I, we have no business beating this team on Christmas. None. But we shouldn't get blown out either. We should cover that 13 and a half. I'm going to be honest with you. All I want the Giants to do is cover the 13 and a half. Because if the Giants cover that 13 and a half, that means we were competitive. 
That means we lost by less than two touchdowns. That means we didn't get embarrassed on Christmas Day. And we're the mid-game. We're not the, the, the afternoon game. We are the middle-of-the-day game where everybody's going to be eating dinner and cuddling up with their girlfriends, relaxing with the family on the couch. We are the main game. You could duck the 1 p.m. game. You know, you open the presents, you're playing with your children. You know, you could duck the 1 p.m. game. You know what I'm saying? You're probably outside playing basketball. You're probably playing cards with you. You could duck the 1 p.m. game. But around 4.35 o'clock, everybody is somewhat chilling with each other. You can't duck that smoke. So we all eyes are going to be on the Giants in that mid-game. It's just, look, y'all saw how I, I moved on from Daniel Jones because he embarrassed me, made me look bad. That's why I stopped live streaming these damn games because I'm like, bro, I started off the season doing live streams and I'm getting cooked. I'm getting laughed at. I, nah, bro, I'm not with that, bro. Y'all not going to have me looking dumb on some live stream because you got to understand, I'm not like a normal youth, Giants YouTuber. I got, I have another channel and people from my other channel, they, they flock to this channel just to laugh at me when we getting smoked by 40. I'm sorry. I'm not about to live stream filth. When y'all want to be competitive, y'all want to be good again, I'll start live streaming games again. And I ain't the only one to do that, too, because a shout-out to the Giants Insider Podcast, Jerry Foley, Chris Bizignano. My man Jerry Foley said he ain't live streaming this bullshit no more either. You know, he took a couple weeks off from live streaming the Giants, too. It's like, yo, don't nobody want to watch this team get blown out. You know what I'm saying? So, if we can lose, like, 35-24, that'd be great. That'd be great. The fifth unit question of the day. The fifth unit question of the day is simple as this. Would you ever get blown the hell out in the first quarter and get it over with? Or lose in heartbreaking fashion in the fourth quarter. I'm talking Evan Ingram drops, Deshaun Jackson punt returns. I'm talking typical Philadelphia versus New York Giants bullshit. Would you ever get your heart broken in the fourth quarter or get smoked like a swisher in the first quarter? That's the fifth unit question of the day. I'm curious to to hear from you. How y'all feel about that? I, given that choice, I'm just going to let you know, I would ever get smoked in the first quarter. Because if you, if I had, or if on Christmas of all days, I had to suffer another Philadelphia miracle versus the Giants, I'm never going to live it down. I, I still don't watch that Deshaun Jackson punt return. I still don't watch the Evan Ingram drop. I, I that, that, that 65 yard kick. Uh, a couple years ago at the old up Beckham brought us back. I, I just, mm, mm, I don't know if I can handle it on Christmas, bro. I don't know if I can handle that. It's bad enough the Knicks gonna get cooked by the Bucks at 12. Last thing I need is the Giants at four o'clock to break my heart. So, anyway, that's it. That's all, fellas. Y'all know what to do. Throw those FUs in the chat if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message. <laughs>